Good morning, guys. We'll have to go out and see what kind of a, a day we got started here. Man. Anyways, it's 8 o'clock already. I've slept in. But I, got a, I ordered a couple of things off of Amazon. They arrived. And uh, I unpacked them. And I just wanted to show you what kind of hurricane hit the inside of my van here today. <laughs> Get it cleaned up. I'll show you the projects and everything. But just take a look at this. This is the front. My clothes. I'm quite dressed yet. I uh, haven't opened the windows. Everything's closed up still. The bed. Back of the bed. <laughs> there, it's just a, a total disaster area. I have to clean up and do my project. What the idea here is, uh, let me just see. Right now we're at 88%. It's gone up already. 88% battery. 87% is going down for some reason. Um, my fridge here with my picture, Chief Dan George picture on it. The fridge here. Uh, it's, a, it's a great fridge. It works. Works perfectly. It's a three-way fridge. Comes with the in with the van. Uh, propane, one ten or twelve volt. And uh, to run on propane, you have to be parked because it, it you have to be kind of level up to up to seven degrees or something, and it won't work. So you have to be parked. Gets nice and cool. Keeps everything nice. But actually, I'm doing a lot of traveling right at the moment I'm not I will be parked at some point in time but anyways um, so I'm doing a lot of traveling and I can't have it uh, on propane the 110 volt well obviously you have to be parked otherwise you have to have a long extension cord and pull it behind me uh, to be plugged in then it'll work fine too uh, then the 12 volt. Well, you would think the 12 volt would work, and you could drive along the highway or drive along the road, and the 12 volt will keep it cold. But not so. In order for the 12 volt to work, you have to be plugged in to shore power, 120 volt plug in, and then set it to 12 volts, and it'll work. So, in my opinion, uh, for me, that fridge is totally useless. I can't, I can't, I haven't used it for the past two months. I turned it on, got propane going, got it nice and cold while I was sitting overnight, or sleeping overnight one place, and uh, had to get up the next day and turn it all off. So you can't keep anything really cold in it, or cool. So I did a lot of, a lot of eating out because I, I couldn't keep things cool and you, and you have to keep you know a few things cool uh, salads and stuff lettuce and it's, it's not good when it's warm it was like 30 some odd degrees in, in here for a week or two or a week in some days so it wasn't just uh, ideal for that so anyway I went I bought a uh, Dometic um, looks like a cooler I'll show it to you in a minute here um, you can plug it into 120 volt inside the van and if you've got at short power or what have you you can run it that way or it's got a cigarette lighter plug in at the other end and you can plug it into 12 volt so here it is down here and right now it's at 2 degrees Celsius and very quiet. Let me see if you can hear this. 
that's it for noise. It's very, very quiet. And does it ever use a small amount of power? So anyways, that's it for the deal. Now what I'm going to do is, because the fridge is not, I don't want to use the fridge anymore. I can't open the, open the door to show you the size of everything in back in here. But I want to take this all out, the cabinet. I want to take the cabinet out, pull that fridge out, take that fridge right out of here completely, and rebuild some sort of cabinet area a little lower, and put my uh, put that cooler up on a on a ledge. Uh, so my project for today is to try to start to get this thing apart, uh, rip it apart, take it out, remove the fridge and start building it cabinet back again um i don't know how i'm going to do that it's going to destroy some things here but it's got to be done